angry guy here, and women can never regain the trust of men. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. But let's begin. Women can never regain the trust of men. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. In my 20s, I didn't give a shit. And I guess that came with a lot of consequences. I met this guy who was really nice, maybe a little too nice, too nice that I took advantage of him. It started off with a friendship. We would hang out, watch movies, go to the mall. Fast forward to a few months later, I noticed he was jealous if I ever spoke about people that I wanted to romantically pursue. Even if I brought up exes or I started dating someone, and I ended up telling him. Then he would disappear. After that relationship ended, he would come back into my life. I found myself spending a lot of time with him in his apartment. We would grab a bottle of wine, smoke a joint, a couple of cigarettes, and just talk the night away. It was as if nothing ever happened. He would buy me things. He would give me money to go shopping. He would always pay for my dinners. He would lend me his car to have for a week or two. He brought me things. He took care of me. It was very confusing, but I just let it happen. I let him take care of me because it felt good to be taken care of. Little did I know, he expected a lot in return. I never saw him in that way. His character was tainted by his jealousy and his immaturity of being assertive. It just didn't feel good to see, but there was a part of him that I really enjoyed being around. We had intellectual conversations, we could talk for hours, but a lot of our relationship stemmed off of not being sober, drinking, smoking, being high all the time. In fact, the more I think about it, we could never hang out and be sober. There was one night that we spent at his house and we probably drank two bottles of wine and we got really drunk. And I remember that he tried to make a move on me. Time went on, one thing led to another. You get the point. And I was receptive to it because I was not in my right state of mind. When I realized what was happening, I pushed him off of me and I told him, I don't see you in that way. You can imagine how awkward it was after that. Nothing happened. We probably stood there in silence for like, 10 minutes and then I went home and then I didn't hear from him for another month or two only for him to come back again it was a pretty consistent cycle he would leave then he would come back so I finally got back into a relationship this time was different I decided to set boundaries and I decided to cut communication with him except this would be a problem. I told him we should stop hanging out, but he couldn't fathom not being in contact with me. He would call me, he would text me, he wouldn't stop. It got to a point where I realized there's an obsession on his end. He would make me feel like I was crazy. He would gaslight me, basically make it seem like I'm the reason this is happening. It's because of me that I didn't pick up on your clues and that's why we are where we are. I should have paid more attention. Now, to be very honest with you, this woman was absolutely gaslighting him. It seems very clear from the very beginning he was trying to be respectful to her and to take it slow. So he didn't try to overpressure her. He tried to be a gentleman. He, he obviously was way too generous, but it was clear to her from the get-go that he liked her. She could, she could pick up on it. She could sense that she is not a child. He eventually did try to make a move. And as soon as he tried to make a move, what did she do? She basically backed away from him. 
She was taking advantage of this guy. She could have called off the relationship at any time, but instead she kept on taking, she kept on using. I mean, the title of her video is, I took advantage of a guy and I don't feel bad about it. Okay. She knew exactly what she did, but she's trying to frame it as though he's the villain because he did not initially let her know that he wanted her to be his girlfriend. But the moment he did try to make a move, he was a, a bad guy, you know, because she doesn't see him like that. That doesn't make any sense. You, you, on one hand, you say he never made it clear that he wanted a relationship, so you didn't, you, you thought nothing of it. On the other hand, you know, he did make it clear that he wanted something. If a guy tries to make a move, it's clear that he is interested in you. Okay, this, this is nonsense. She was basically getting boyfriend value from him. She was getting, he was providing for her. He was protecting her. He was giving her emotional support. He was giving her attention, lots and lots of attention. Attention is a currency for women. She was completely using him. And she would basically cycle in and out of him when she was not in a relationship. So, for example, she would get into a relationship. She would focus on that guy. And then as soon as that guy was gone from her life, she would go right back to him. Okay? who was? How would he know that she was not in a relationship anymore? Oh, she would reach out to him. And so, of course, But he's the villain right here. He's the villain. Don't get me wrong. I don't commend this guy. He clearly had issues. But this, but this is how modern day women are. They will clearly frame everything as though they are the victims. This guy had invested a lot into the relationship. It is quite clear. She's made it extremely clear. He invested a lot into the relationship, and it is and it, and she was the one who took advantage of him. And when he tried to escalate. She basically was like, uh, no, no, I, I, we're, we're just good, really good friends. You meet a really good friend that buys you stuff, provides for you, give you gives you boyfriend treatment. Yes, exactly. Guys, women can never regain the trust of men. I'm telling you that right now. Is he obsessive? Absolutely. But if I was dropping that kind of money on a woman and, you know, obviously... I was sending out hints that I like you. And I mean, why would I spend this kind of money on you? Because you were friends? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Nothing lasts forever. Modern day women made this decision. They chose to live this way. They chose to have these types of relationships. And they have, and they have consequences. And I guarantee you, she is obviously going to wish that this guy was still around. Okay? Because as they're getting older and their options run out, guys, she was jumping back and forth into the relationship. At no point should you say, oh, poor baby. She knew exactly what she was doing, and she is playing ignorant to it, 100%. Am I justifying this guy? No, there's a lot of simp inside of him. He should have. He should never have been spending that kind of money on her. He should, but a lot of men fall into this trap. Oh, we're friends. She's my sister. Huh, get out of here. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. If you're enjoying the content by subscribing to the channel, if you already have it, liking the video and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Women can never regain the trust of men. What do you guys think regarding this and everything that was discussed in this video? I want to know your thoughts. So... Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.